Why is hypnosis and trance significant? Stay tuned. Damon here with NLP Gem. Transforming yourself through hypnosis and transformation. If you haven't already, please click subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can get these videos on a regular basis. So why is hypnosis even still significant? I mean, can't we just NLP program our brains to just do exactly what we want it to do? We can do a lot with that, and we can do a lot consciously, and we can do a lot with these conscious sort of logical processes that NLP has created. However, there is a part of this that you just can't seem to get out with all conscious cognitive logical processes. And I'll take, for example, the self-concept model that Steve Andreas created. The only limitations, and if you've watched my videos and if you've read my blog, you've heard me go on and on about how incredible this model is, and I still believe that it is, to me, the most powerful model in NLP to this day. And even it has limitations, and I don't mean that it has limitations in the model itself. The limitations come more from it being a very conscious, cognitive, logical process. And sometimes I have trouble putting together all the details and going through all the processes in my mind. Going into trance and using hypnosis is about going to those places where the logical and the cognitive and the conscious cannot go. It's a very powerful and creative place and it's a very mysterious place and there's I would say so little is really understood about it even you take Milton Erickson who did so much with the unconscious and understood it probably better than anyone and still it was very much a mystery to him as well and he wasn't even he didn't even know what was really possible and that's why there's a famous saying where if you ask Milton a question you often his response was I don't know but I'm curious to find out and that to me really symbolizes what the unconscious is so trance is how you go into the unconscious hypnosis is a method of tapping into the unconscious and you can access so much more of your so so much more of your resources and what you can access there is in many ways indescribable and you can give it intense, you can give it um, direction. In most cases I think the unconscious is actually directing the conscious uh, but it's hard to say, it's, it's, it's definitely a relationship. So using hypnosis, um, using meditation, using trance to dive down below the surface and get in touch with the unconscious and have more of a relationship, an intentional relationship with the unconscious is such a powerful thing. And what I've been dabbling with now is how do I bring in the self-concept model that Steve Andreas created and use it more in trance and hypnosis. So far the results have been really wonderful and have been a lot of fun and something I'm exploring more and more. And as of right now, I'll just you'll just have to stay tuned and I'll get back to you on more about uh, what I'm discovering and what I can actually put into a process and, and a, an induction and possibly even a future training. For now, though, just know that uh, as far as I'm concerned or, or what I think about um, a well-rounded NLP or Hypnosis and trance is really, really important. So you should, in order to complete your NLP training, it's so important that you have some hypnosis training, especially Ericksonian hypnosis. I cannot encourage that enough. So uh, if you have some NLP training, definitely get some hypnosis training. If you don't have any, if you have hypnosis training, well, of course, I'm going to advocate that you get some NLP training. The two work hand in hand. They're not opposing. Uh, they're, you know, much of NLP has been modeled after hypnosis. And the thing that I would uh, 
say would be it would be really sad if hypnosis is completely taken out of NLP. In old NLP trainings, uh, hypnosis was something that was taught regularly as part of NLP, and you're not seeing that as much these days. So find a good hypnosis course, dive right in, have fun, see how you can bring more of NLP into hypnosis and more hypnosis into NLP, and I promise you, you'll have a much more well-rounded practice and you will be able to transform yourself on various levels, both on the conscious level and the unconscious level. Check out our website, nlp-gem.com. And like I said, subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can get these videos on a regular basis. And follow us on Facebook so that you can get real-time updates on upcoming trainings and also free practices that we hold here in Santa Cruz. Uh, Core Transformation is coming up, taught by Mark Andreas, son of Steve and Connie Ray Andreas. Really excited about this workshop. Uh, also, next year, in the end of March, beginning of April, Michael Hall will be coming back, and he'll be teaching Inside Out Wealth. I'm super excited about this. His book, Inside Out Wealth, was a real game changer for me and my finances, and I'm just super excited that he's coming to teach it here, and that I can share this with all of you. Take care.